part two. When another friend drove Karina home, they found Faith's body wrapped in a quilt in her room and they called the police. She had died from blunt force trauma to the head, likely from a rum bottle that was found. Eric was considered as a suspect, but his DNA didn't match that of the semen found at the scene, so police didn't suspect him as much. There was a $29,000 reward put up, but no killer was found. A year later, in September 2013, local police requested aid from the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. The case was heavily criticized for how long the details remained under seal, with some claiming that the police were trying to cover up missteps. It turns out they only searched the apartment that Faith lived in, didn't ask any neighbors what they had seen, didn't secure Faith's car while they were searching, and didn't ask for security footage from the club. The records and autopsy were unsealed for the public in 2014. There was also a note left beside the body that read, I'm not stupid, bitch jealous. There are theories that it was a red herring or that it was supposed to read, I'm not jealous, stupid bitch. There was also a suspicious butt dial where Karina and Eric were heard talking. They said, I think she's dying and do it anyway. Overall.